ABC News with Eileen McHugh. President Biden has ordered the release of thousands of official U.S. documents about the assassination of President Kennedy in 1963. The White House said they would provide the public with a greater understanding of a tragic event in American history. But nearly six decades after the killing, some material will remain secret. Huge crowds have protested in the Turkish city of Istanbul against the conviction and political banning of the mayor. Ekrem Imamoglu was sentenced to two and a half years in prison on Wednesday for insulting public officials. He was joined at a rally by other opposition leaders. The Ukrainian government says Russia is planning a broad new offensive early in the new year. President Volodymyr Zelensky and senior officials have warned that Kiev and its allies must guard against complacency. The Ghanaian president, Nana Okafu Ado, has accused neighbouring Burkina Faso of inviting mercenaries from the Russian Wagner Group to fight Islamist militants. He said having mercenaries operating on Ghana's northern border was distressing. Burkina Faso has not commented. The Polish police chief has been admitted to hospital after a gift he received from a senior Ukrainian official exploded at police headquarters in Warsaw. The Interior Ministry said he'd suffered minor injuries. The European Union has officially made Bosnia and Herzegovina a candidate for membership. It follows a meeting of the European Council in Brussels. A Sudanese woman who was condemned to death by stoning for adultery has had her sentence reduced to six months in prison. The case against Mariam Tirab sparked an international outcry. And Peru's new foreign minister has summoned home ambassadors from several Latin American countries whose leaders criticised the ousting last week of President Pedro Castillo. BBC News.